done a lot of them. Have you ever find anything good in them? Well, every now and then we do. Once we did a show in Hampton, opened up an old Cadillac, and it was completely full of new stereo equipment. Rich, I can remember a time seeing you take an item off a junk car before. Yes, Dan, as a matter of fact, I did, and it, and it did help me win a race. Well, there he is. Pablo Huffaker is just showing off. Pablo is running an 89 Ford 500 cubic inch blown and injected on alcohol. Turbo 400 transmission. Now, he's going up against Leadfoot. He doesn't quite have the horsepower. It's a 77 El Camino, and he's also running a Ford engine. Well, Mike Speller's ready. Red line is going to turn the green just a second. There it is. Oh, problem for Leadfoot, and Pablo's got an easy run here. It looks like he's going to have a nice run. If he can keep it all together and finish, he'll advance to the next round because I do believe Leadfoot had red lighted. Well, Pablo Huffaker, as he's going to cross the finish line for an easy win, is just showing off. He's got the win. Okay, uh, we'll look at here. Leadfoot crossed the line a little early right there, and, of course, Mike Speller's seen that. Let's go to Mike and see what happened. Ron, I understand you were disqualified at the starting line. Can you tell me what happened there? Well, we all run stall converters in our trucks, and I was bringing up the RPM to stall the motor out, and the brakes didn't hold it, so it jumped just a little bit right before the light turned green, so I stopped, and then he took off, and they told me to take off, and I guess I was disqualified. <laughs> Well, Jeff lost there for Ron Dennis, and now it's Dave Wyzerich's turn. Nightlife, an 87 Chevrolet Stepside, 454 cubic inch, blown and injected on alcohol, up against Wild Hair. Now, they had to put a stock 454 in this from a junkyard car right before they got here. Now, Mike Speller's ready to give him the green light. Momentarily, there it is, and here they go. Okay, over the first set of cars, Wyzerich's got a tremendous lead, but I tell you what, Wild Hair is keeping up pretty good with that stock engine. And it's going to be Dave Wysorek in Nightlife 2. He's the winner. Of course, here on the replay, Wild Hair keeps up with him pretty good, and I'm starting to wonder if that engine is really stock in there. And, of course, Nightlife on the second set of cars takes it nice and easy to he can advance. Here's Mike Goss with the winner. Dave, what do you think about that run? I think it was a pretty good run. I didn't hit it quite as hard as I did on qualifying and just trying to get the hang of the track. And it seems to work pretty good for me. Any special driving style for a track like this? Uh, not really, just hang on. It's a long course, you get a lot of speed, so it's going to get some air. As the radio-controlled mini monster trucks please the crowd, Rod Litza uh, wheels USA 1 into place for round two. Good this year. I've raced him before. Let's see how this goes. And there's the green light. Doug Spanier taking off the lane he likes, but here comes Rod Litza. Yeah, he's having a little problem in that lane he likes, and Litza out here just takes a tremendous lead. Whoa! His back end came up in the air a little bit. Whoa, USA 1, the win, those first. We'll see here on the replay now. In USA 1, take off against the Master Disaster. They're side by side across the first set of cars. Now, as soon as they get down in between these two sets, now this is where Litzow takes advantage of his horsepower. Now, of course, with the speed he's got, he doesn't quite clear the cars. Now, watch when his back tire just barely hits that last car. That's what throws his back end up in the air, but he stays in the power and comes right out. Exciting win for Litzow. Uh, let's go down trackside. My God. Rod, you looked real smooth till the last set of cars, and it just keeps throwing you off, it looks like. Well, what happened there is I just, I didn't quite make the last car. My back tire caught the last car, throw me into a nosedive. And then I just got to ride on the front wheels and pull it out. I know it gave the guys a little scare here, but I pulled it out of there. Okay, now, how, fi how fast do you figure you're going down there? Well, I'm, I'm topping a truck out right now. I should be getting close to 70 miles an hour out of it. Okay, this one ought to be a good one. Here we got Bob Breen and Wild Hair out of Jeff City, Missouri, going to go up against Randy Spanier. Now, these guys are both fairly new drivers, Stan. Well, let's see what happens. There's the green light as they take off. It's nose to nose, although Wild Hair's in front by a little bit. Yeah, but I don't know if he can keep it. Now, he's running that stock 454 out of a junkyard. Now, let's see what happens here at the finish. It's going to be down. close. Oh, and it is Randy Spanier in barely tame as the winner. Okay, let's take a look here and see what happens. Now, across the first set of cars, these guys are pretty much side by side. Wild Hair does have a bit of a lead, about a half a truck length, it looks like. But, of course, coming down to the second set of cars, I think, is where Spanier really took off. Here's Mike Goss, trackside with Bob Breen. Bob, you push barely tame to the limit, but you're really limited on your engine, aren't you? Yeah, I'm running a stock 454 right now. My brother and I bought the motor. It was in a car, Monte Carlo. We give $500 for the whole car. And uh, I usually run a blown injected alcohol motor, and I blowed it up. And I had a $4 piece that I couldn't find there at home. That's all I like, getting it back together, so I had to stick this one in there. And I had the tachometer right on 6,000. That's all she'll do before it starts floating the valves. I thought I had him, and I heard him coming. I knew it was over. 
Besides the beautiful paint job of Barely Tame, you can't help but notice the tires. A lot of people ask, where do you get these giant tires? Rich Hoosier has the story. One of the things that makes a truck a monster truck is the tires. What I have here is a 66 by 43 25 Terra tire. The size is 66 inches tall, 43 inches wide, and has a rim diameter of 25 inches. The weight of this tire with a steel wheel can weigh up to 1,000 pounds. The pressure that's in these tires can run anywhere from 6 pounds to 10 pounds per square inch. The price of these can run anywhere between $500 to $2,500. That depends on whether you get them new or used. The origin of these tires come off of fertilizer spreaders from the Midwest. So you might not have ever seen these tires if it wasn't for the sport of monster truck racing. Well, there's eight of these tires now as we get ready for the third heat of the second round. John Breen out of Jet City, Missouri, old country boy. He's got a lot of experience up against Paul Huffaker just showing off. And we're ready for the green light. There it is. They're ready to go. There's a problem with look, John Breen. It looks like John's having that problem again, just like he had before. So if Pablo keeps it going and stays inside the course, he'll have a win. Now John Breen stalls, and Pablo Huffaker going across the finish line, just showing off. Okay, here, John Breen is going. He's got it running again. He's going to go ahead and continue the run. Now, what the reason for this is, if he goes ahead and makes a legal run, if somebody breaks in the next round, he will be eligible to return. Well, once again, John Breen having problems at the start. Let's go down trackside with Mike Goss, and he'll find out what the problem is from John Breen. John, two races in a row, you had problems at the starting line. What's going on? Well, the altitude here is pretty high, and we're having trouble getting that fuel injection set up right. The temperature's dropped quite a little bit, and you know, when you're running fuel injection like that on methanol, it changes your engine quite a little bit. We went out there, and we cleaned the filter. We thought maybe it was a little bit dirty. Come back and set it a little leaner, and it just it coughed at the line, and it was all over, but it's crying then. Well, it's the final heat of the round two. Jeff Dane with King Kong got his work cut out. He hasn't been driving much lately. A 